Let's just say for a second here, Hulk, that if the cost is two top 100 prospects, which has been reported, is this a deal that not only the Yankees but other teams have to try to make for Juan Soto? I think so. I mean, this guy is a difference maker. He changes the narrative around uh, the Yankee team coming off a season where they were 82 and 80. And yes, I understand you're only getting him as a one-year rental player, but he <laughs> changes your lineup so greatly for the New York Yankees. Uh, lefty bat and outfield. Fielder. That's what's at the top of their shopping list here. He adds power. He adds star power to the Bronx. And that's something that was lacking last year, especially when Aaron Judge crashed in that wall in right field. There wasn't much of a reason to watch the Yankees for that two-month period that Judge was out. Soto gives them a reason to watch every single night. Yeah, there isn't a ton of offense available in the free agent market. So if Juan Soto is unequivocally available, I think you have to look at him almost like try. a potential free agent and spend what it takes to get him. Two, two top 100 prospects. What? The Mets need to get involved. Speaking of which, let's make the call to the bullpen and welcome in Britt Giroli. Britt, the Yankees obviously have been front and center here in rumors for Soto. Can the Mets get involved for a trade for Soto? Sure, they can. Guys, I don't really believe that all it's going to take is two prospects in the top 100. I think we're looking a little bit more upper echelon than that because if the price is that light, then there's going to be so many teams that are going to drive that price up, right? That is how this works. AJ Preller, the GM of the Padres, does not want to trade Juan Soto. He coveted Juan Soto for years before they acquired him for the Nationals and gave up half of their farm system. So even if he is told by ownership, you have to cut payroll, he's going to look for creative ways before they decide to deal Soto. Even if he's forced to deal Soto, I think he's going to have to get a deal that at least makes it look like it was worth their while. I think we're really looking at probably two top 30 prospects, maybe in that 20 to 30 range, which again shouldn't be a stretch, particularly for the Mets. But if you look at David Stearns and you look at the Mets and the way that they want to build up that minor league system, I think they're going to sit this one out and they're just going to wait and flex all the money that Steve Cohen has a year from now. Juan Soto is not going to give up his free agency. I've seen people say, I'd love to trade for him if we can keep him, especially Yankee fans. That's not going to happen. This guy gave up $440 million in a place he was very comfortable with because he wants to test free agency. Scott Boris is his agent. He's absolutely not going to listen when he is this close on the precipice of being one of the highest paid players in baseball. He's not just going to give all of that up because it's easier for the team, because it's easier for the Padres. This is a one-year rental. I don't see the Mets involved in a heavy way at all, and I think it's going to take a lot more than what it's been reported to get him because it's a year. It's not a two-month July rental. Now, if we're talking about a midseason deal, maybe it's two top 100 prospects. It is absolutely inconceivable in my mind that that's all it's going to take to get a year of Juan Soto.